And now, a show you all have been waiting for. Cooking with the Shooting Guy. All right, it's the Shooting Guy here. Cooking with the Shooting Guy and the Shooting Kid. Today, Shooting Kid's got a great little recipe he's going to share with you. Let's get to it. All right, so we got our tilapia here, which we caught at the store. Look at what we caught, guys. Farm fresh tilapia. We got our canola oil. Um, we're gonna need a lot of this stuff, so like buy a big one. Um, a couple cornmeal, a couple flour, um, your French Red Hot, which is going to be your batter. Um, and then we have lemon pepper and Himalayan uh, pink salt crystals. Um, so you just need salt and pepper. Um, but we're going to use lemon pepper to kind of add a um, different taste to it. Oh yeah, we need also these. So this is going to be for our flour and cornmeal mix. And this is going to be for our French Red Hot, which we're going to dip the nuggets into. We got a salad going on. And you know what? If Shooting Gal found out we did this in her kitchen while she's in Missouri, she'd come back here and kill us. So we're going to do this outside. All right, guys. So uh, what we're doing now is we're going to take our fish. We washed it all off. Um, we patted it dry. So you want to make sure your fish is dry. So that way when you dip it in the sauce, um, the breading will stick to it a little bit better. You don't want that water to kind of wash the sauce off. Because the sauce is what's going to be your egg batter. You're not going to use any egg. It's going to act as that. But it's going to add a wing sauce to it. So we're going to cut this fish up right now. So make sure you have a sharp knife. Like so. And let's try to cut this left handed. Um, I'm just going to cut it right down the middle here. And then uh, we'll do halves. Like that. Like that, there you go. Pretty fat fillets, these are tilapia. This isn't like white bass or anything like that. We will do white bass sooner or later, um, but not right now. So we're gonna cut this fish up right now and then we'll get back to it. So all of our fish is now cut up, and now we're gonna wash the fish off one more time just to be safe, because nobody wants food poisoning or having to go through what food poisoning will cause. Dr. Valentino, to the OR, please. Uh, so we're gonna wash the fish off, and then we'll batter it up, and then we'll stick it in the deep fryer, and we'll get to the salad. <laughs> We got our one cup of cornmeal here, and then we got our one cup of all-purpose flour, which is going to be amazing. Uh, so you can do this one of two ways. If you want more crunch, um, you can have a, I think it's a cornmeal if you want all crunch. If you just kind of want a flakiness, that would be the flour. We want kind of both. Um, I like biting down and having that crisp crunch to it. I don't really want to like have to, you know, measure it all out and stuff, but I kind of want it to be, you know, good. And um, that does not go in there. And so we'll add our annoying salt, we'll just do a little bit, nothing too much. Like that. The lemon pepper here. Um, and we'll kind of add a nice little lemony pepper to it. And you know what? Just for kicks, a hint of garlic powder. There you go, that's our mixture. Try to mix it all together and stuff here. All right, and there you go, there's the mixture. Stick it here on the paper towel. And then we'll get our Frank's Red Hot out and we'll get her done. Here's our Frank's Red Hot sauce. Woo, that smells spicy. Oh my gosh. Yeah, <laughs> it's really spicy. Uh, we need something to put the fish into. So now we're just going to dip the fish in there, you know. Get it all nice and juicy red. And then we'll put in the flour mixture and cornmeal here. Okay. And then, uh, just kind of get it in there, get it all mixed it up. Just stick it in there. And we're going to do that with all 100 pieces of fish that we have. <laughs> we'll get it done. Uh. 
All right, so we're here still. We're battering it away, man. And so, uh, I'm gonna probably change this batter out soon because it's starting to get all crumply and stuff, and so it's not really sticking very well. So we'll probably have to change it out soon, uh, just because you want a really good crisp uh, covering on all this fish, and it's just starting to kind of fall off. We got a lot of fish here, you guys. All right, so we got the fish there. Uh, so we got one batch going on right now. Um, and so we're just gonna dunk some more fish in here and keep going with it. Hopefully we have enough Frank's Red Hog for this. If we run out, we run out. Then we got chicken eggs from our chickens in our backyard. And so we'll kind of use that as a wash and have something a little bit less hot um, so we're not dying tonight on the uh, toilet. The rule is if it burns going in, it's going to burn coming out. Lake Fork guy swears by it. Um, Alex Perrick fish uh, swears by it. All them guys that fish on YouTube and stuff, those channels are really awesome. And those, that's where I got this recipe from and I've always wanted to try it shooting guy was kind enough to kind of be like, hey, let's have a guy's day, yeah, guy's day and cook lunch together. Um, so yeah. So we're about halfway through now. I'm kind of just rubbing off the excess stuff so that way it doesn't crumple up in here. You want to be ginger with these so that way they're not, you don't rub off the wash and just have Frank's Red Hot sauce on your fish. <laughs> All right, so fish is done. We're going to go outside now and bake it up and fry it up. We're gonna fry it up now. So we have we have a little routine here. Uh, raw stuff, cook it, stick it on the cooked stuff. We got one of these to get it scooped out. Got the oil uh, roughly around 425. It's just before the smoking thing. It smokes just a little bit. Yeah, you're gonna want to drop that in, and we're gonna stand back as we put it in. There you go. Ooh, all its yummy goodness. I think it's done. Very fast. Yeah, the oil may be a little hot. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's going to be good. Okay, oil may be a little warm. Right, so I turned it down just a little. Go for it there, shake it. Okay, that's good. So we'll just keep going like that until we got it all done. Bowl number two. Y'all, this is so gosh darn good. That lemon pepper really does have a kick through. Hot wing sauce is very good on the fish when it's deep fried like this. It's not overpowering at all. It has a nice, subtle kick. Subtle, very subtle, flavorful. And uh, so, all you southern boys that like fried food, y'all try this out. Well, let's get it stand there just a little while longer. You want to get a beer? Okay, see that right there? Delicious goodness. It's hot, but it's good. Okay, the key to successful cooking is clean oil. And right now, this oil is starting to get kind of filled up with, uh, as you can see here, uh, oil. Yeah, corn, uh, cornmeal, and whatnot. But uh, it is coming out pretty good, and it does have a lovely texture and a lovely color. And uh, there it is, raw. There it is, cooking. There it is, done. I think for everything, it's just a texture thing, you know? People won't eat it with their, that, their texture that they don't like, uh, but these have a great texture. The buffalo wing sauce, I tell you what, it's not overpowering, which is really awesome. 
I personally don't like too much spice, but this just has enough kick where it actually tastes good. And you can actually taste the garlic powder too. So, fish is fried. It's in there right now. So we got lettuce from Walmart. Don't buy lettuce from Walmart. And we got a squishy thingy here, our OXO. And basically what this does is you cut up the lettuce and you just do this after it's all messy with it. There you go. So it's getting all the wetness off here like that. Dries it up. And uh, break. Yeah. <laughs> break. And now our lettuce is dry. So it's really, that's really cool. And so now we'll just take a nice little big old hand bowl here. This is our last one. Guys, if you're going to do this, this is a two hour ordeal. So just remember that. It's long. And you take the lettuce and you stick it in the bowl here. So there's that. And then what we'll do is make a balsamic vinaigrette, um, croutons, and then cheese for me, and the shooting guy can put whatever else he wants on it. Alright, I'm now making a balsamic vinaigrette dressing. Um, so basically, you just need a little bowl to mix it all into. Um, this is going to be an optional dressing, uh, but we're going to pour a good amount in there, a fair amount. Okay, that's going to be nice. This is your own uh, recipe? Yes, uh, this is my own recipe. Nobody. I didn't get this from online. I was just kind of wanting a dressing one night and I made a salad. And so we so what are you putting in there? We're going to put garlic powder in here, um, some Mrs. Dash, mm -hmm. 21 seasoning salute, oregano leaves, and a hint of basil leaves. Go for it. And dear Lord, don't let us get tomain poisoning or anything else like that. Hey, okay, so, shooting kid. Good job. Good job, shooting guy. Yeah, that was uh, some fried fish with all the ingredients. If you want to see that again, you can dial back and you can see what the recipe is. And then his uh, salad with uh, famous balsamic vinaigrette. With a little bit too much oregano leaves. What'd you learn from this? I used too much oregano. Thanks for joining us today with Cooking with the Shooting Guy and the Shooting Kid. Mm, clip. Join us again next time for another exciting episode with Cooking with the Shooting Guy.